One of the things I really like about our ministry is that we get to travel and we get to meet a lot of different kinds of people and we get to just hear what's going on in their lives and what they're struggling with, what their victories are, and we get to speak into their lives, encourage them um, from where they're at. And we meet all different kinds of people who have different life experiences and um, it's a honor, it's a privilege really to be able to kind of walk beside them as they go through their day-to-day -day lives and challenges and joys. And I like the big uh, groups too, where you're just preaching and teaching in a big uh, church or auditorium and and we're learning. I, I always feel like I'm learning when you're teaching. I, I like seeing the growth and, and hearing the testimonies and um, that's that's my pay, is mm -hmm. when I hear that people are uh, growing in a way that is changing their lives for the better. And uh, we get to see that, you know, you know, so much. I believe the kingdom of God is here. And it's full of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And every day on this earth, we can experience that kingdom of God if we just remember where we're at. Mm -hmm. And um, the Word of God and the Spirit of God gives us that remembrance of where we're at. You know, when, when you face things in this world that aren't very pretty, you can stop and remember where you're at. That's what the Lord has taught me. And remember that I'm in the place where there's perfect joy and there's perfect love and God loves me and God cares for me. And uh, God ultimately is, is caring and taking care mm -hmm. uh, of me. And really, you can have the hardest circumstance, most difficult thing you're going through, and in a moment, remember, and it all switches, and your heart becomes full, and your uh, what you're speaking about becomes positive. It's a, it's a, like you said, remembering where you're at in the kingdom of God, which in the midst of being in this world, it's having a, a kingdom mindset mm -hmm. and a now God mindset, uh, because. Uh, when you're aware of that, then you're, you'll, you'll find yourself walking in love and joy and peace and, and all the fruit of the Spirit. And really, if you have the fruit of the Spirit in your life, that's a heavenly experience. And it really doesn't, it doesn't get much better than that. That love of God is perfection. And uh, we know the Word of God says that if we know the love of Christ, if we know the depth of it and the far reaching of the love of Christ, then we're filled with all the fullness of God. Mm -hmm. And that's something that God has given me uh, insight and experience to. That was the name of your first book. The name of my first fullness. book was Fullness, Living Beyond Revivals and Outpourings, because you don't have to uh, go for it anymore. You don't have to try to get something extra anymore. You don't have to try to become something that you want to be because you already are something. You don't have to try to attain anything because really you already have it in Jesus. And that's what we carry. That's what mm -hmm. we carry. That's what our books are about. That's what our voice is, is that kind of encouragement and information so that uh, people can walk in the now uh, word of God in this place of fullness in their lives. Because when, when people are fulfilled, really so many of the issues of life and society issues and uh, you know, uh, issues of past hurts, they, they, they fade away and they, they disappear once you're, you have this sense of fullness uh, in the love of God. And that's been rewarding to see some people coming into that and watching people's lives change and hearing the testimonies of, of people when they get the revelation, how it begins to operate in their life and how their joy get, begins to get full, how they begin to walk uh, a real love walk with God and with other people. And that in itself uh, changes and, lives. And God has made us versatile enough with, it's, with the gifting that He's given us that so we can go into any kind of a place and sort of gauge where they're at and bring the Word of God to them in a way that they can hear it and receive it. We don't get rejected much in the places that we go. People hear us, you know, on their level, where they're at. And mm -hmm. that's, that's the heart of the Father. He's mm -hmm. so good. He's not trying to blow people away. and not, He's not even trying to change or, doctrine so or much. Or shame he's, people into thinking differently. Yeah, really he's, not, not. he's not into pressuring and condemning and, and, and shaming. And, you know, God... God, God knows why they are the way that they are. He knows their issues and he knows their sins. Mm -hmm. And he also knows that the way to 
um, get rid of all those things in people's lives is by the power of his love for them. Mm -hmm. And so it's really been a blessing that he's done. He's brought us to a place in our lives where, where we can somewhat um, point to that love of God and explain that love of God, but also um, demonstrate that love of God. Uh, and, you know, I'm so happy at times when I realize, you know what, God has loved me in such a way that it has changed me to where people don't make me angry anymore by their actions. I, I have this love for them because of what God has done done in me. And um, it's a beautiful thing to see. And the way that that love of God changed my heart is the same thing that's happening in other people's hearts. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to be of any certain denomination or, or have to have a certain belief system mm -hmm. uh, to have that. God's not so interested in those in uh, correct doctrine per se. He's interested in loving the people and healing the hearts. Yeah, that's what Jesus was all about, the heart of the people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was into people more than anything. He wasn't into religion. He wasn't into uh, really just debating doctrine for doctrine's sake. He was into loving the people with the truth about who the Father was. And we're blessed that we're able to really to carry on and carry out that ministry mm -hmm. and to see the fruit of it.